Good morning, Panther fans. So, how are we this morning in Panther world, in hockey world, in the sports world, in the world itself? How are we this morning? Now, Stu couldn't join us today, so we've got to stand in. That's okay. I don't know how much he's going to say, but um, I, I, I said some things last night. And for anybody wondering if I was going to walk any of that back, you were um, going to be disappointed because um, there will be more. There will be more. But what I will what I will do is I will clarify the pinpoint what I was trying to elaborate last night, which is I'm going to use fake numbers. I don't know if these are the numbers, but I'll just use fake numbers as an example. Let's say that the sports betting world expects to win 53% of the vote of, of their bets and lose 47%. Let's say there's a 3% margin. I don't know what it is. So it could be 20% for all I know, but let's just pretend it's a 3% margin. What has become abundantly clear to all of us is that things are being manipulated to change that margin from 3% to maybe say 7%. 8%, 10%, whatever the number is. Now, I know that this appears to have been a special circumstance between Maurice and this referee. But what makes you think that referee doesn't have financial um, motivation to go as far as he did last night? Because his one job is to make it appear as though he's impartial. Now, last night, there's nobody in the sports world. I, I, I even want to thank the Toronto Maple Leaf fans in the comments last night um, for, from the recap. Nothing but support. I've had nobody come on and, and disagree with at least parts of what I'm saying. Some people don't agree with the rigged part, but in terms of the calls on the ice, there's been agreement across the board. So I do appreciate that. So before we reveal our our guest, I'll just say that I ain't done. I ain't done. We'll talk about the game. We'll see what my guest wants to talk about. But this situation has gotten out of control on multiple fronts. And as a whole, I think in this world, I think as a whole, I think I can speak for some of us. I'm really, really burnt out, crispy, sick and tired of having to pretend that I don't see what I see. I'm sick and tired of us as the fans having to be the ones who whisper in the corners about what we think is taking place. And so somebody is going to have to take some action to attempt to expose things at a much greater level, a level that will hurt the pocketbook of these people that are manipulating not just our finances, but our emotions on a nightly basis. Stay tuned. Okay, special guest, who are you? Oh, look, it's, 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 it's Stu without a hat. <laughs> Good morning. Um, uh, where do we start? I well, think we, I think we started. Let's start by saying <laughs> I'm proud of my guys. I really am. They they played a whale of a game last night against a good team. I think we dominated most of that game. Yeah. The first goal, minute or so into the game, was great. I mean, the goal let Bob let <laughs> Bob first goal light the first couple of minute items. I mean, that yeah. went off Dryden Hunt's like the tip of skate. Yeah, just like a couple of inches. All right, one one. Then we come back. I mean, we came back and four to two lead. I thought. Remember when I said we get Bob his four goals? We're good. Yep. yep. And I think most nights we would have won that game. No, I, 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 mean, no, I we, can't. We, I, we did win that game. The referees yeah. gave yeah. gave that game to Toronto. Yeah. The Lombard penalty. He stripped the guy of the puck. Right. The good is charged. <laughs> On one planet charging is like is supposed like charging five strides, right? 
What was another one? There was another was a there was a Bennett. There was a Bennett penalty that was bullshit. Yeah. I mean, seven power plays, Jesus Christ. And the penalty shot. And the penalty shot. I mean, that was a gift. But I will say this. In that situation, I prefer a penalty shot than a power play. Right. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. At the 50-50. Yes. And, and, and I'm, I'm going with Bob because. Right. I agree with you. So yeah. I got confidence in my boy to make that stop. And he did. Right. Yeah. But, uh, the good, the good is penalty. And them scoring, oh, the Matthew scoring with you know, the one point something seconds yeah, left. Yeah, that that yeah. was that was that was to me. Yeah, that was kind of sort of the backbreaker. Right, we needed to get that f- fifth goal. Yes, yeah, we definitely did. Um, let's just hope we don't miss the playoffs by a point, which is entirely friggin' fragging. And the all the other f words possible, and I know that we've blown some other points, but that's not a point we blew. That was a point that was legit stolen from this team. Yeah, that game that game was stolen from us. And I think the 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 the, the Bennett one that I think you're talking about that's the one where they try he tried to call it on Bennett. And the linesman had to come over and correct him and say, hey, actually, I mean, the, the Leaf there player was, was, was going enough. to the box. The Leaf player was going to the box. He knew he's. <laughs> there was another there was another Bennett penalty. Yeah. Yeah. No, they were all over Bennett all night long. Um, I'm 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 going to take my fire Maurice. I'm going to take all of that. I'm going to put it over here in a box and the box is labeled. He spoke out last night, so we're good for now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll put it in that box because it may not be ecstatic with the way things have gone up to this point, but that's going to cost them money. And if you're willing to put your money where your mouth is for what you saw on the ice last night, you, you're, good, you're good in my book. You're good. I'm not saying I'm giving them four years, but for now, I'll I'll park that because he he could have he could have cheapskated us on that, and instead he gave he gave. I mean, I'm screaming and ranting in, in the recap, but my voice is only so 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 far, and and Maurice gave the fans a voice last night, and so I'm I'm grateful for that. Let's not forget, I counted at least three Toronto penalties that weren't called. Right, right. Oh, the, the the one call where uh was Dan Asenko was in the corner and he literally got tackled <laughs> and there's no call. Yeah, and then it ends up it, I mean it was and then who came in? Uh cousins came in and then drew drew a call after that, but that was only because the, the, the call wasn't made on Dan Asenko getting tackled. Um all right, so so the the so penalty Here's my pride. Right, yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to just my concern do what is they always do as far as players and well, my my concern I'm now. I'm just so bummed out right now, you know. I know. I know. My my concern now is that was a lot of energy expended out there last night. Um and we I I think with the way that last night when whoever whichever one of the other two goalies is healthy for tomorrow night you you got to just put them on the ice against Montreal. I agree because you just you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna toast Bob. All right, you, you've got him in the. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I had a different take on it. The, you know, the other day I said, "Ride Bob till he's yeah, he needs a he needs a rest." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was that was for him because you know that's him on the ice facing those power plays too as well. So, um, yeah, and he don't get a rest. No, no, no. You, That's what you, I always you. admire about the goalies. Right. You know, they're standing even when there's you know, there's no action in, yeah. in front of them. They're still standing the whole game. Yeah, and in case you've never stood on ice skates, it's it's work. I mean, you we, get used to it, but you're using you're using your muscles to stand on ice skates. You're not just standing. It looks like you're just standing completely still, but in reality, your your hips are just moving an inch back and forth. With a lot of equipment. 
a lot right. of heavy what, equipment. Right, 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 right. Um, no, like like you said, proud of the boys last night. Um, I do have one question for you, and this was this was uh, Nerful and I had a disagreement, just friendly disagreement on the stream. And I don't know. I, I see his point and then I see my point. And that question is when, if we love the top six, we love the top six. My, my desire is Deanna Senko with Lusterinen and Duclair. And what he wants to do is leave cousins in and put Deanna Senko back out or down and i would rather have the Senko than cousins now he used the point that cousins is like a half a point of player half a point a game player i get that um but i just think it's time to de- i th- i like what the Senko's bringing and i just feel like it's time to develop that kid and you could put cousins in your back pocket as depth what do you think i i agree right Hey, do you have that eclat got it? Did you able to put that up? Oh, I did. I didn't. I didn't. I I did forget. I did forget. I'll I'll I'll. Uh, I just I I think people know what I'm talking about. But since, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since the the thought is in my head, if we can show them, great. If not, all right. Well, keep talking, and I'll and I'll yeah. I'll, I'll take care of it. But it'll take but me again, half a second. I mean, I, I mean, what can you say? I I just thought it was a spirited effort. Again, the Barkoff, Lundell, Reinhardt line. I mean, just <laughs> there you go. Shorthanded goal. You know, the, the, the that's the new Batman and Robin. You know, uh, Lundell's taking Huberto's spot. It's just great watching those two play. Um, I thought Ekblad had another strong game. I thought, <laughs> I thought everybody had a good game. I, I don't. I just, guys, I'm just like fucking pissed off, man. Yeah. When you get when you get a game, I mean we got a point, but it's a loss. To me, when you get a when you get a loss that wasn't determined by your own destiny, it's and Eric's right. And I never really thought about the betting world and the financial aspects of sports now and what a big business it is. I mean you can go to the NBA, the NFL. I mean, how many how many times have you seen pass interference or, you know, a, a phantom pass interference or a holding penalty or in, in the NBA, you know, a guy goes up for a jump shot and gets fouled and there's no call or, or there is a call to, de- you know, determine the game. So. All right. Um, I, I mean, I won't. I, I, <laughs> I think the NHL has egg on their face from last night because it yeah. was too obvious. It was too obvious. Um, I have your picture ready, so I'm going to share it, and then you describe what this is. There you go. You see it? All right. Okay. So take a look at that, ladies and gents. That's what I'm talking about. So these graphite sticks, when I played hockey, man, we had wood sticks, Sherwood PMPs, and Cohos. And uh, – Stick didn't do that. Yeah. So that's why these guys can shoot the puck 100 miles an hour. I, I love this picture. And I yep. first saw this picture. I'm like, wow. Yep, that's so, perfect. Anyway. Okay. That's the egg blast. Yeah, that's – that's we were talking yesterday about why he breaks his stick so often. And and there it is. His All whole right. weight His whole weight is on that thing. Right, right. So right. I thought – if there was one area that they could have improved last night, the power play sucked. I mean, got we got that one goal, right? But if you, I mean, we only had two power play, three I power only, plays. Not sure. I think. Well, I think one of them got truncated. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. really, that one genuine power play, right? We couldn't even get in the zone. I think it was two. Well, one or I'm not sure. Um, I know, I know. Uh, the one I enjoyed um, was was the Gudis one, where he just ragdolled himself and would not fight the dude. <laughs> that Kyle and I, I'm like, I'm like, I was concerned something was wrong because he just like had he went limp. He went like this, and he just ducked his head. And I thought, is he is he okay? Because you know, he just had the concussion thing 
who I thought for a half a second, maybe he was like, hey, dude, I'm, I'm hurt. I don't want to fight. But he was just drawing the penalty. That was genius, man. No, that, that was, was the that was the call. It was it was the they called him on the the hip check one for Gudis, where they called him interference, right? And then they got him again in front of the net for charging. Yeah, the charging <laughs> the charging penalty was just total bullshit. Hey, right. Lomberg's penalty was totally bullshit. Yeah, um, and the, and the same thing happened. With Lundell, the same exact kind of play like Lombard. Lund yeah. Lundell got hooked. Right, no right, right. No call, no call. I mean, how can you? How can we avoid not talking about how much the refs or ref, all, you know, altered right. that game? And I want to know, were, were the calls made by that one referee? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Pretty much. Um, so where's the other referee getting in well, his ear saying, hey, man, you're making it too obvious, bro? Well, I mean, they did had to rescind the one they was well, going to send. Yeah, you're right. You know, and, and you know what? I didn't I don't hear a lot of it because we're streaming. But I even heard it. And in, in Randy, even Randy was was significantly more critical than normal. We'll just we'll just put it that way. I mean, he's got to watch what he says, obviously. And, and and that's the problem. And is is because everybody's tied into the system. Everybody is locked in, man. Everybody's paycheck is dependent upon pretending that what we see happening isn't happening. That's that's the one spot I'm lucky in where you can't expect George or Jameson or David Jork to be as as outspoken as I am, because independence you know and not that george not independent but he has to deal with the team he's credentialed he has to interview the players and and you know if the league calls down and says hey man this guy's getting out of control you're gonna have to pull pull his access to the players the team is gonna have to talk to him whereas for me i answer to nobody so like i said earlier stay stay tuned stay tuned because i'm um, this, this, on multiple levels in my life, I just had about enough, and I, 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 the brunt of that frustration is going to exit somewhere, and I have a pretty good idea where that's going. I actually sent – well, I didn't send it. I started writing Randy a text at the end of the game about coming on this morning, and then I I, I didn't – I deleted it. Yeah. I didn't send yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I would have been like really curious to see what he had to say, but yeah, he'd has hopefully, to. hopefully we'll hear from Billy and get his take. Right. But again, he works for the NHL Network. Right. And he's got to be careful. So I'm not right. expecting. We'll see. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bring up the gambling to Billy Lindsay. <laughs> no, it's not. Not. It's not the way to go about it. Yeah. But I, I have a feeling, you know, what he's gonna say. Right. And that's, you know, again, it was so obvious last night. And yeah. again, it's and I, I even texted you when the start when the, the stream of penalties, those like four right. in a row. Yeah. I'm like, hey man, they're in Toronto. Right. Hockey capital of the world. Right. Right. But but I think I mean I think specifically last night clearly had to do with the grind axe to grind with this referee against Maurice. But like I said, that doesn't mean that he wasn't um, monetarily incentivized to do that, you know. So other than that, um, happy with the team's play. Mahura got a goal. Good to see. And I've noticed <laughs> I noticed one thing that's changed. Um, and it just kind of makes – now that I'm seeing it, I'm wondering, well, why wasn't it like this earlier in the season, which is we're still doing the dump and chase. But – now we're winning the foot race to the puck. Where the Excellent. rest of the year we would dump it in, but then lose the race to the puck. Which, no, if you're going to play dump and chase, the next thing is you have to get to the puck first. And now we're doing that, um, which is good. I just wonder. I mean, did Maurice really, literally, have to tell these guys they had to skate harder to the puck? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's changed. If you listen to Barkoff's post game, he was talking about the new system okay, and how they all like the new system because it's geared towards 
playoff style hockey. Hmm. Um, and I was a big proponent of that change before the year started. Right. Um, but you're right. The difference is not that they didn't buy into it before, but now they're executing. Right. And that's, right. that's the key to that dump and chase game. You right. got to win the battles. Right. Right. Yeah. And, um, and like we talked about yesterday, you got to block the shots. You got to be willing to make the sacrifices that yeah. come with that style of play. So, you know, when Maurice says, you know, we're, we're work in progress, but we're getting there. You can see in the last half a dozen games. Right. You know, that, that listen, these guys know they're out of it right now. And right. they know that they got to pile up some points. I mean, right. we can talk about it every pot, you know, every uh, video we make, but you know, the guys on the ice are the guys that have to execute the game plan. And, and again, it's just, uh, yeah, last night. I don't last... really think there was anybody that had a, a stinker of a game. No. You can't blame anybody for that loss. No, no, no. The yeah, zebra. Exactly. And that, that's the frustrating part is that you look at that third period um, and, you know, for the most part, you know, we shut them down. And, and the thing that got us really was, was that late, you know, 1.1 seconds left <laughs> in the yeah. second period. That that's the goal that definitely yep. got us. And no, I was happy. I was fine. You know, 10 minutes left. I'm saying, just get the point. Right. Get the point to get to overtime. And but then you knew you could see. I mean, there was no gas left in the tank. So, you know, so I want to just talk about that Matthews goal. Right. Because I and I and I said it at the at, and get yes, not you know, the day. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I said it in the last video. Keys to stopping Toronto. Matthews and Marner. I forgot about John Tavares. Yeah. Who's a well-known Panther killer. Yeah. But the guys that killed us last night was Matthews and Marner. Right. The Matthews goal should not have happened. I'm sorry. Somebody should have been on Matthews like flypaper. There's right. less than a minute left in the game. I mean, in the period. Right, right, right. You keep, you stay on that guy, like Ovechkin, like McDavid, like Sidney Crosby, you know, like Stamkos, like Kucherov. Right. You have a guy, wherever he goes, you go. Right. There's no way you leave a guy like that open so he can pick top shelf corner, which is what he did. Bob, Bob, Bob had no, no shot on that. The, the, the last call, um, they said they reviewed it to see if the net was off the moorings before the puck cleared the line. It was the net Bob, was Bob knocked, the, Bob knocked it off. But it was because because Bob knocked it off, so it's still a good goal. Okay, because they didn't explain. They said what they they were looking to see if it if it was off. It was off, and the only one there was Bob. So even if it was off, they would have had it already known. So I didn't I didn't understand the goal. The, the goal that really sucked was the tying goal. Yeah. That you know bounced off Nylander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he well, was he was covered. I don't know, I think it maybe it was Gudis, but he was covered. Right. It's one of those things. No puck luck on that. No. Um, you know, Samsonov came in and shut the door. Yep. We needed. Yeah. We need, like I said, when it when it became four three at the end of two, we needed to come out in the first five minutes or so and pop right. another goal in. Yeah, and we we did have well, a couple. We, we probably would have held on and won the game, right? So right. Well, <laughs> we still can't get the three in a row. I I but I got nothing, no complaints about how they played and everything else last night. The question is now, you know, can they keep this up? Can they? Can they? Can they get in? If you get in and you play like this, eh, you know. We ain't gonna we get a, swept. Tough, Let's put it tough, that way. <laughs> we got a tough schedule, tough, tough stretch. That's the thing. We win yeah. tonight. Okay, we come back. Minnesota. We got the Rangers and the Penguins. Rangers and the Penguins. Yeah, that's 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 where we're at. You know. Um. And we got to get night going again. Yeah, we, we have to. You know what yep. I mean? 
that that's that's just you, well, you can't, you're right. you know. tonight would tonight would be a good time to put him in I, I who knows if he's going to be available right well they yeah i don't know who was the backup last night i don't either um, they didn't show the I don't yeah they, they didn't the back up once yeah I, did, I didn't hear anything um so we'll see i'm sure they're gonna i'm sure they'll have a skate today and 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 we'll see but um but you know you don't want to just run through Bob like that. You got to got to give him a night off, considering what's coming next week. You know what I mean? So, two observations our, about overtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was glad to see fifteen, sixteen, and sixty-two. Yeah. See, we've, I've been saying no Ekblad, no Ekblad in overtime. So, Maurice, thank you for listening and <laughs> taking suggestions. I really thought Forsling would have been a better, but I'm perfectly fine with those three to start. Right. What happened on the winning goal? Forsling let Forsling thought Verhage had him, and Verhage got walked, and, and he, you know, and, he, and he just you know he protected the puck. Right. You no, know, he did a like straight arm type of thing and went around him. Not the greatest defensive uh, coverage. No, I, I don't. I, I don't know see, why. I can see Forsling looking over like. Yeah, I know that would be me on top of him. Yeah, I don't know why Forsling laid off. That that was that was I did I don't I didn't understand that because he was clearly coming in. I mean, maybe he was thinking he was going to drop a back pass. Maybe there was somebody coming in that we didn't see because they when you showed when they showed the replay, you saw Forsling look both ways. You know what I mean? Like he couldn't, he didn't, and and then the pucks in the back. It was a great back. move. Yeah, I mean, give look, him, give him credit. It was a great move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but um all right. Yep. All right, Panther. Tomorrow's fans. another day, another game. Yep. Tomorrow we we this is this is my first night off in a while. So I'm 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 gonna take another nap. I didn't I, I went yesterday to take my nap. I got like 40 minutes in and then something woke me up. I couldn't get back to sleep. So I, I still need another nap. And then we're gonna go play with the dogs at the beach because they've been ignored for the four days because with the playoffs and everything. Um, tomorrow, states, hopefully, yeah, uh, we'll have our special guest and get That's his right. take on things. It's been a while since we've had those guys, no guarantees, yeah. but right, it's uh, it's scheduled. Yep, yep. I won't, I won't put out any any videos that will uh ruin the chances of getting Billy on before he comes on. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait till after Billy comes on to produce the uh, I'm suing the NHL video or whatever it's going to be. <laughs> All right, Panther fans. We're still we're still here. We're still in this. We'll see how this goes. I can't imagine how tired those guys are because that was that wore me out last night. Appreciate all the support. And Hit we'll subscribe. See. Yep. Yep. Hit the like button and all that yep. good stuff. All that good stuff. Appreciate the support. Yep. And um, you got anything to say about our uh, sponsor? I'm t I'm too tired to even shave today. Go to manscaped.com. Use the code Flying Fluffy. <laughs> it's just Flying Fluffy, not Flying yeah. Fluffy Hockey, not Flying Fluffy Sports. Twenty percent off and free shipping. Yes, and free shipping. Yes, it comes in handy. Believe me, especially these days. All right, guys. I am. I am. I am. I'm out. I'm toast. I'm crispy. I'm burnt. Ex oh, wait. Wait a minute. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I hope you like that, guys. That was perfect. That was perfect. All right, guys. We'll see you again later.